Hello, all you Special Olympics athletes out there. I'm WWE superstar Drew McIntyre, and I just received a unified fitness kit packed with really cool fitness gear that I can use to work out at home, at the gym, or outside. Don't worry if you don't have this gear handy, because you can replace it with stuff you most likely have at home. In this kit, I also have a fitness tracker to count my steps throughout the workout. I have a set of unified fitness cards to show me how to use all the equipment in this bag. I know I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's get to the workout. I'm going to demonstrate 10 activities you can do with your unified fitness kit, but there's a lot more to choose from in the cards. I'm only going to do about 20 or 30 seconds of each activity, but you should try to do them three times for a minute each, just like the cards indicate. I do similar activities when I train. I'll give you some specific examples as we go through, and I like to stick to strength and agility to maintain peak performance. You guys ready to get started? All right, we've got some side-to-side -side jumping with a stationary rope. First of all, place the rope on the ground. Yep. Face the end of the rope and stand on one side with your feet together. Let's start here. Quickly jump from side to side over the rope, like so. Graceful. Make sure you're landing as soft as you can. You're probably landing softer than me right now. That pace going. I'm definitely cheating. <laughs> Somehow made a figure of eight down here. <laughs> right, that's a great endurance exercise. Don't forget to keep those knees bent. Land as soft as you can. You're probably landing softer than me. And just keep positive attitude. You know, this is fun. We're getting moving and we're moving on to the next one. Okay, now we've got some basic rope jumping. You're gonna hold the handles in your hands with the rope hanging behind your feet. Then you're gonna jump over the rope while swinging the rope forward without stopping. If the basic jump is difficult, you can put the rope on the ground and jump back and forth over it. I'm gonna try the regular way. This is not something I do often, so bear with me. We're doing this together. This might be a personal best for me. Don't forget to breathe while you're doing this. Just keep that pace going. Don't get carried away and try to go faster. In my head, I'm thinking I should just go faster because I'm doing it right now. Just keep that pace. Yeah, survived. Ah, so there we go. I'm amazed. And that's more than I've ever done in my life. I'm learning some, some new um, exercise tricks today with all of you. It's something you can do and just challenge yourself every day. Just try and go a little bit longer every single time. I almost got excited and wanted to go faster because I had a good rhythm going. Just keep that rhythm, keep breathing, keep challenging yourself. And we're on to the next one. Now we're gonna do some ball handling circles. You're gonna hold the ball in one hand and circle it around your body and passing it one hand to the other. Start with your head and neck, you're moving it around to your waist, and then you're gonna go around your knees. I think I got that right. Let's try it together. Okay, ready? Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if your ball's as slippy as mine, but try and keep a grip of it. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, get it now. I'm only going for 30, 40 seconds, but if you get the unedited version, I'm going to be doing this for 10 minutes. I want to see how long I can go for it before it falls out of my hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting carried away. All right, that one was fun. Man, I'm having a lot of fun here. This is great. Hopefully everyone else is having a lot of fun out there. It's all good. If it slips out of your hand, this thing started getting really slippy on me. So don't get deterred. Just keep practicing it. I'm moving on. All right, 
we're gonna do some toe tapping. No, it's not dancing. We're gonna take the ball, we're gonna place it on the ground, uh, and then we're gonna touch the top of the ball with your right foot, then switch feet, touch the top of the ball with your left foot. Keep tapping the ball lightly while switching feet back and forth. You can perform this activity at a speed that's comfortable to start, then increase the speed as you go. I used to do this when I was younger. It's been about 20 years. All right, getting more comfortable. Let's take up that speed. Just keep doing whatever speed you're comfortable with. All right, here we go. Don't laugh if I fall over. Yeah. All right, that was fun. That was like a trip down memory lane for me. Hope you're all having as much fun as me. That's what today's all about. Having fun, getting the exercise in. Your pace, if you're going slow, that's fine. If you're going medium, that's fine. If you're going fast, that's fine. It's all about getting a little bit better every single day, whatever level you're at. But we're moving on. All right, now we're going to do some hoop jumps sideways. You're going to keep your feet together, jump sideways into each hoop to the end of the ladder. And then you're going to work your way back down again. Some of these things I'm trying for the first time. This should be interesting. <laughs> but we're doing it together. All right, there we go. Sorry if you're touching the sides. I'm gonna blame it on my big feet. Just keep going whatever pace you're comfortable at and don't forget to breathe. Man, I am not graceful. <laughs> but we're getting in. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but that's what it's all about. It's getting it in, getting practicing, keep working on it. On to the next one. Okay, we're gonna continue with the hoops here with some wide and narrow. You're gonna straddle the first hoop so that both feet are wide on either side, then jump into the first hoop with your feet together. You continue jumping wide and narrow into each hoop until you reach the end of the ladder. And then you start again. And we just keep going. So let's try that. Okay. Wide to begin. Here we go. All right, liking this one. Here we go. Just, just going at your own pace. Wide narrow. Just don't forget to breathe. I'm sure you can hear me heaving. Ah, oh, right, that was fun. I enjoyed that one. Hopefully you did too. As always, do your own pace, keep practicing, get a little bit better every single day, every single week. It's time. We're not going into the next one yet. We're having a water break. So water helps you stay hydrated. We need to drink enough water throughout the day, not just when you're working out. All right, now we're going to do some side shuffles. So what you want to do is place two cones 10 big steps apart. Then you're going to move sideways with one foot leading and do not cross your feet. Cool. Let's try it. There we go. Yeah. It's really helpful being six foot five and a half. Only takes me a couple of steps. Just make sure you don't cross those feet over. And go at your own pace. Can try and make as little noise as possible. So you can probably hear I'm making a whole bunch of noise. I'm trying not to. And the more we do it, the better we're gonna get. Yeah. All right, get into it, get into it. Let's keep this going, let's keep the momentum going. What is it we say every single time? We're moving on. All right, this one's gonna be pretty fun. Hope you're ready. <laughs> this one's called Square Drill. You're gonna place four cones in a square, boom, 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 boom. 10 big steps between each cone. 
alternating between sprinting, side shuffling, and backpedaling between each cone. So that's sprinting, side shuffle, backpedal. Let's give it a try. Side shuffle, sprint, side shuffle, backpedal. Let's go at your own pace. Now I can sprint. <laughs> it's all good. That's what it's all about. Just practice and getting better. Okay. I've got some work to do, but that's okay. We're having fun. We're getting better. We're improving. Work in progress. Everyone have fun? Feeling good? Heart rate elevated slightly, breathing heavy. We're moving on. Okay, now we're gonna do some standing leg lifts, backwards and sideways. You're gonna stand with the band around your ankles, feet shoulder width apart, lift your right leg out to the side, keeping it straight, hold it for three seconds, bring the leg back to the start position, and then repeat with the left leg. And then, you're gonna repeat the same exercise by lifting your leg out behind you, first on the right, then on the left. Seems simple enough. Let's find out. Right leg first, out to the side. Let's try that left leg. Let's try that right leg again. There we go. Try and find your center. Try and keep that leg straight. I know it's difficult because I'm not keeping it straight myself, so let's try and be conscious of this together. Straight out. Hold. Find the balance though. <laughs> oh, uh, make sure you don't tell all your friends. This is between us. The Drew McIntyre WWE wrestler. He's got a lot of things to work on. Deal. All right, feeling pretty good with those. Let's try going backwards. Right leg first. And left leg. Go at your own pace. If you're still on that right leg, it's cool. Just make sure you just get comfortable and find that center of balance. The comfortable you get, the easier it'll get. Because practice makes perfect. How do we get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. All right, that was pretty fun. Didn't break as much of a sweat. What do we got next? I don't know, let's find out. We're moving on. All right, we're gonna do some of my favorite exercises in the world. Yeah, still got it. Bicep curls. A little bit different than usual. So we're gonna loop the band around your left knee and hold the other end on your left hand. Kneel on your right knee and grab the band with your palm facing up. Pull the band up to your shoulder Hold for three seconds and slowly return to the start position. And repeat, I'm gonna get into the position, I'm gonna try it, and we're gonna figure it out together. Right, so I've already got the band around my ankle here. One I prepared earlier. So loop it over your foot, bring it up your leg, behind your knee, palm facing up on the left side. Get into position. So here we go, in position, we're ready. We're gonna lower it down. Bicep curl up, hold it for three seconds, lower back down. When you're pulling up, try to be conscious of pulling with your bicep. Um, just the best way to describe it, I guess, is it's called main to muscle connection. You're just trying to imagine you're pulling with strictly your bicep and not cheating and using the shoulder and every other muscle you can. So if you look at my bicep, you can see I'm just pulling with the bicep here. I'm holding and focusing on the bicep for three seconds, and then we're lowering back down. We're strictly working those biceps today. One more time, one more time. Down we go, let's switch legs. Let's learn this today. This is gonna become part of my routine. Maybe you can do something different, it's always fun. So here we go, we're on the right side now, behind the knee, you ready to go. Don't forget, we're concentrating on strictly using those biceps. So we're going down, we're pulling from here. 
all bicep. Hold it for three seconds. There we go, you're flexing here. Down we go. Up once again, hold it for three seconds. Check that peak growing every rep. There we go, let's do one more good one. Hold it for three seconds. Down we go. Oh, that was fun. Later on, I'm gonna start doing lots more of those. Ah, oh, man, this has been great. There's a lot of exercises you can do with this equipment. You can be creative and design your own obstacle course. Now let's check our fitness trackers. I did, let's round up, 1,200 steps in this short workout. And don't forget that the Unified Fitness Kit Cards have a daily tracker where you can track your steps. Your goal should always be to get at least 10,000 steps per day. And using this equipment in these kits to be active can help you achieve that. Did you think anything was too easy in this workout? Try to add more time to each activity. Reduce the time you rest between activities. Jump higher or run faster. There are lots of ways to make activities more intense. Good luck and enjoy your unified fitness kit.